I just ordered Mr. Beast Burger. <laughs> I just ordered Mr. Beast Burger. I have been wanting to try this since forever. And I just got paid. So I ordered it. The only reason I didn't order it prior to this is that my usual location, they don't deliver there. And if you know Mr. Beast Burger, you know that it's a ghost kitchen. It's not an actual physical location. I think there's one like actual physical location, but yeah, it's. It's coming, it's coming. So when it gets here, I'm gonna show the food, do a food review. I've never done a food review on camera before. I kind of like do it to myself sometimes and I'm like, you know what? I'm trying to edit some stuff for the video game channel. Why not edit some food review stuff, right? So see you guys soon. We should be getting the order in about 40 minutes or so. And yeah, bye-bye. <laughs> it's arrived. <laughs> we have Mr. Beast Burger. So we only got three things. We got the Mr. Beast DBL, which I think is the double B style, and the Mr. Beast Carl's Grilled Cheese. Like, it's just the grilled cheese. And the normal crinkle cut fries. We didn't get beast fries. I'm hoping I like this and I order again. And so, what are you doing, Freeway? Oh, she's going to get water. <laughs> so, if I like this enough, then the thing would be I would order from here again, right? If I like it. Uh, oh, here, tear here to open. Interesting, you get to tear the side. Oh, definitely new. Okay. Oh, she was, she's sniffing around. She smells to fries. She has arrived. <laughs> okay, so this is the packaging. It's like inverted on the camera, but um, these are the fries. I'm gonna take one, I don't know. Not bad, kind of bland. I definitely need ketchup or something. This is supposed to be the Carl. It comes wrapped in this, so I'll unwrap it right now. Yeah, those fries need like ketchup or something. Um, I don't know what I expected. It doesn't look bad. I guess like this, this makes more sense. That's the top. It's not grilled all that much. It kind of looks like they just inverted, yeah, they literally just inverted a, um, a bun. It could use a little more grilled on this. This is the one I'm the most excited about. The Mr. Beast style, the DBL. This one actually smells pretty good. Okay, this one has me excited. That looks, that looks pretty good. It's got pickles on there, it's got onion. I'm gonna take a bite of this one first, it's making my mouth water a little bit. I didn't order a drink because I have a Diet Coke here, caffeine free. I've been drinking a lot of caffeine today. I need to stop drinking so much caffeine. Oh. <clears throat> Mostly because it's later in the day, you know. At least I want to get some sleep because I have a lot to do. Ah, especially in the morning. First bite. This We're trying the Mr. Beast double B-style burger or whatever. Yeah, it's pretty much a B-style burger. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Free was just staring at me and shuffling around. 
This is really good. Mr. Beast DBO. Let me look at my receipts so I can tell you exactly the names of the stuff. That is tasty. I wasn't expecting anything special. What the hell? I need the receipt. Here we go. B style double burger. So it has two patties in it. The grilled cheese is just the normal Carl's grilled cheese and then just some normal crinkle cut fries, which have no flavor. This has a lot of flavor though. That sounds pretty good. This is a $10 burger. This is a, this is a $5 grilled cheese, which I'm not impressed with just by looking at it. But we gave the burger a taste test. Now it's time to give the grilled cheese a taste test. It's not anything special. I don't have anything negative to say about it really, other than it's way too expensive for basically an inverted burger bun with some cheese thrown inside. I don't know what I was expecting. That's whatever. These have good crunch on them, but they don't have flavor. Yeah. I definitely would try the B-style fries if I get this again, which I think I am. Because my other location, there's no, there's no Mr. Beast Burger that delivers there. But this location, I get the delivery here. So I might get fat because I want to try this again. I really like this burger. Mm. Mm hmm. It has like tartar sauce or something in it. It has a lot of onion. The meat itself is really juicy. I don't know if you can see like how juicy it is on this camera. It has a lot of pickle. It has ketchup and mustard on the top bun. This is not a dry burger. This is a dry ass sandwich. I'm probably gonna have to like dip it in some sauce or something. It's so dry. <laughs> Was this worth 10 bucks? Yes. This is a $10 burger that's worth it. Do I like it more than I like In-N-Out? I don't think it can be compared to In-N-Out, and I'll tell you why. In-N-Out was made for like the working class, you know. It's made cheaply for a reason. It's supposed to be affordable. It's always been like a, a very affordable, very delicious burger, In-N-Out. Mr. Beast Burger, it's kind of like, you know, it's branding. He's a popular YouTuber, so he this is a way he makes more money for his YouTube videos. So if you're a fan and you want to support him, purchasing his merch, purchasing his, frankly, amazingly scrumptious <laughs> burger, is the way you support him. So yes, I think this is worth $10 of support. Mr. Beast in his future videos, which most are pretty interesting. This was just sad. Don't get this. The Carl's grilled cheese. Although, if you end up, let's say you and a, like a friend comes over or something, you're like, oh, let's get Mr. Beast burger, <laughs> you know. But your friend is like super picky. 
And they were like one of those really picky eaters and they they probably all they ate growing up was like chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese. This is probably perfect for them and their bland palate. <laughs> Being a little mean. No, I'm serious, like this is whatever. But I'm still gonna eat it because I bought it. This is my five dollar grilled cheese. I think it was a little more than five dollars. Yeah, this doesn't have a receipt. I mean, it's a receipt, but it doesn't have um pricing. Mm -hmm. Dry, but yeah. So that's that's the review, you guys. It's good. Well, not this. Really good. Look at that bun too. It's a really soft bun. It's. I don't know what kind of bun this is. It was really good. I don't think I've ever had a burger bun that, that was textured and bready. You know what it kind of reminds me of? If you've ever had bri a brioche bread, it kind of reminds me of like a brioche bun or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Worth 10 bucks. Not worth whatever I paid for this, which is probably also five, six bucks. Cause let's see, this came out to like 30 something dollars. I can get you the exact prices. Give me a moment. That burger's delicious. Okay, B style double burger, $9.99. Carl's grilled cheese, $5.79, not worth it. One crinkle fries, $4.49. So it actually came out to $20.27, but the delivery charge is $4.99, so like five bucks. And then you have a service fee, which is $2.99. And then you have a tax. <clears throat> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then you have to give the delivery person a tip. Not cheap. <sighs> Not cheap at all. Excuse me. Mm. But a really good burger. Am I gonna order it again? Yeah, I'm probably gonna order it again. <laughs> Bye you guys. Try Mr. B's burger. It's not bad. And if you just got paid like I did, make that one of your first purchases towards yourself. You deserve it. You've earned it. Get a beast burger. Bye. <laughs>